Popskin here, and yeah, we're doing the top 10 YouTube movie critics, right? And this isn't actually my list. This list I got off of fucking WatchMojo.com. And uh, it's, it's based on metadata, right, from YouTube. Aggregated fucking algorithms and me metadata, right? So, so you, can, you can't refute this information because it's fucking accurate, right? <laughs> and th their list, as you see right here, is, uh, yeah, it's, it's actually a really big list. I'm just giving you the top ten. But there are hundreds, hundreds of fucking YouTube critics on this fucking list. It's crazy. But, uh, let's get started. We're going to start at the top with number one. Jeremy Johns. Yeah, I've definitely seen this guy's videos. Right? And he's reviewing, like, old movies. Right? He's always on all the fucking movies. If you look up fucking movie reviews on YouTube, he's one of the first that pops up. Yeah. But, uh, I, I like him fine. He's pretty cool. But number one, really? He's the number one guy? It's crazy. Have you seen that? What would you think of that? Whatever you think, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. Number two is the Nostalgia Critic. Oh, yeah. Doug Walker, right? Who's, who's been doing fucking movie reviews for, for like fucking years, right? He, he's, he's one of the oldest guys to be doing fucking movie reviews, and he's still fucking doing it. Actually, he tried to stop doing it, right? He actually killed off his fucking Nostalgia Critic character, right? And tried to move on and do other things for a while. But they pulled him back in, you know. His fans wouldn't let him die, and he had to bring back his fucking character, you know. So, uh, he, he's never going to fucking stop. He's never going to fucking stop doing it. Because they won't fucking let him. But, uh, anyway, number three is Chris Stuckman. Yeah, get Stuckmanized with Chris Stuckman. Definitely seen Stuckman's videos. <laughs> he, he seems to really like fucking... Superheroes and comic books and and uh, fantasy and sci science fiction and stuff. Fact is, he doesn't review all the movies. You know, it is kind of like a YouTube movie critics don't review all the movies, just the movies that they're interested in. You know, like like real movie critics review every single fucking movie that hits the cinemas, right? Don't they? No. Mm. Number four is Cinema Sins. Cinema Sins. I don't really count Cinema Sins as a fucking movie critic. These are just videos where they point out all the mistakes in movies, you know, and, and tally them up in the corner, right? Yeah. And then at the end of the video, tell you how many sins the fucking movie committed, right? Well, you know, not any of the fucking list of movie fucking mistakes means that it's a bad fucking movie. Although bad movies usually have a lot of mistakes. It, yeah, I don't know. Cinema Sins? A movie critic site? I, I don't know, I don't know. Number five, The Flick Pick. The flick pick? And I'm familiar with the flick pick. Oh yeah, no no no. I have seen this guy. Flick pick. Okay. Sure. He's pretty good. He he's he's got a big set kinda like uh Stuckman, right? With shelves decorated with his fucking brick a brick. Hey. <laughs> but you know, I fucking do that too. I'm not a DC fanboy, I'm not a Marvel fanboy, I'm just a fanboy of quality, compelling movies that contain great stories and good characters that you want to buy on Blu-ray and watch over and over again throughout the year at 3 o'clock in the morning while eating frozen pizza and wearing nothing but your underwear. That's what I like. Number six is Mr. Sunday Movies. Oh, well, Mr. Sunday Movies, I don't know, movie critic necessarily. Most videos I see from him are like he's analyzing movie trailers and making predictions about what's actually going to be in the movies, right? Like a death or whatnot, or even something to add that I've missed from this trailer, which is unlikely, I'm very thorough, and I've never made a mistake or missed anything. But still, feel free to comment below. And he does t tend to focus on superhero comic book movies, but then, fuck, re recent movies tend to focus on superhero comic books, so, <laughs> kind of goes with the territory. Number seven is Red Letter Media. Oh, I fucking love Red Letter Media. Oh, they're fucking great. You know, Mr. Plinkett and the Half in the Bag videos. It, it is just wonderful. I love the Wheel of the Worst, right? I've done my own variation of the Wheel of the Worst, right? Except I haven't got a budget for a wheel, so I just roll dice. <laughs> but, yeah, I fucking love Red Letter Media. They, they are great, you know. Actually, they, they're close to being my number one favorite fucking YouTube movie critic, right? It broke new ground! 
<laughs> Number eight is Schmoes No. Schmoes No? Oh yeah, no, no, I have seen these guys, right? Schmoes No? I know that's what they were called. It's a weird name. <laughs> but you know, this show actually looks pretty professional, right? They got a big set and stuff. Like it's ready for network TV, right? They haven't have actually, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Sure. For a score? Uh, two point, uh, two point five. Yeah, I'm going two and a half. Number well. nine, Screen Junkies. Yeah, I, I know Screen Junkies. And they do also put on a pretty professional looking show, right? With a set and fucking, you know, microphones and stuff. It, it looks good, you know. I, these guys, guys do the honest trailers, right? Yeah, honest trailers. But, uh, movie critics, I guess, sure. Uh, uh, move forward and, and make Screen Junkies a better place than it was. Yeah. He, uh, he... Number 10, YMS. Where is YMS? Uh, your, your movie sucks. Oh, okay. All right. I've seen this guy, too. Well, he, he's, he's getting big, huh? What? Really? Now, actually, number 11, right, on the list, you just missed the fucking top 10, is, is one of my favorites. The Cinema Snob, Brad Jones, yeah. And I love his fucking videos, right? He, he talks about, like, old movies and, like, lost movies. Very obscure fucking movies. And he does a lot of bad movies. Bad movies that are so bad, they're great. You know, because I'm a connoisseur of bad fucking movies. And Brad Jones has really opened my eyes to movies that I've never even fucking heard of before. Oh, yeah, right? And Brad Jones is like a real... YouTube movie critic. I mean, he's reviewing all the fucking new movies that are coming out. I mean, like, literally. He does these midnight movie reviews, right, where he's actually literally sitting in a car with one of his friends talking about the movie they just fucking saw. So you're really getting their fresh fucking first thoughts on the fucking movie, you know? Yeah. And you get two people's perspective on it. So, I mean, it's amazing. He's actually really keeping up with every single fucking movie that's coming out in theaters. Right, so, that, that, I mean, that's a real fucking movie critic, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know what? Th th this list, right, it, it, it Watch Mojo's fucking list of fucking YouTube movie critics is a huge fucking list. In fact, I'm actually on it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, I'm, like, 189 on the fucking list. <laughs> but, you know, it's pretty good. I'm actually in the top 200 uh, YouTube m movie critics. Hey, that's pretty good. I'll take that. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'll take that. 189. I'm 189. Yeah, I made it. Number 189. <laughs> All right. Whoa. 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 Fuck, I did it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. but, I don't know. What, what do you guys fucking think? You know, who's your fucking favorite, you know, m movie critic on YouTube, right? Is it me? Is it? Really? Well, f fucking spread the word, right? Yeah, let, let the world know who your fucking favorite YouTube movie critic is, right? And let me know who your favorite is down in the, in the fucking comments down below, right? Yeah. I mean, because I mean, this isn't really my personal list of my fucking favorite YouTube movie critics. You know, um, maybe I'll do another video talking about that. But uh, anyway, until fucking next time, keep it fucking real.